Hello, first and second grade. We're going to take a look here at our social studies assignment for today, which is to complete pages 39 and 40 in your activity manual. That's what we call our big book. And this goes along with yesterday's lesson. So yesterday I asked you to read lesson 21, found on pages 45 through 46. And it was called What Governments Do. So we know that there are three different levels of government. You have usually the mayor that is in charge of your community government. We have the governor who is in charge of your state government. And then we have the president who is in charge of our national government. Okay, The city council again is at our local level. We have our state representatives and then we have our congress that helps the president. Yesterday, you also read about what governments do. We know that governments make the laws for the citizens, right? We know when people live together, there must be rules to protect them and to protect their rights. Rules are important to families. Families need rules for the home to be organized and for family members to get along. In our communities, laws protect citizens and their rights. There cannot be justice without rules and laws. Our government protects the rights of citizens. So we know the government, after reading yesterday's lesson, the government does three main things. It makes the laws, it protects the rights of the citizens, and it also provides services. So today, like I said, we're going to be looking here at first at page 39, and it reminds us that the government right is a group of citizens chosen to lead a community a state or a country the directions say to use your textbook to complete the sentence about the right that allows these people to do these things so citizens can blank what they believe when we look back in our social studies book on page 46 Right, citizens can blank what they believe. Number two, citizens can blank freely about anything. Citizens can blank freely about anything. So refer back to page 46 in your little social studies book where you will find those answers. Number three at the bottom. Circle the sentence that shows how the law protects citizens. Number three says, dogs are not allowed in the park. So which one would you circle? I can play because the dog is on a leash or my dog has a right to walk in the park. Which of these shows a law that protects citizens? The sign displays a community law. Okay, good job. I'm going to turn it over and look at page 40 now. So page 40, we're looking here at a pictograph, right? And we've talked about this a little bit in math class. A pictograph uses pictures to show information. When we look here at our key, it says tax dollar equals one of these pictures, right? The picture of a dollar bill. So when we look up at the chart here, tax money for government services, right? That's one of the things the government does is provide services such as schools, roads and parks. When we look here, we're going to count to see how much money is given to each of those services. So like I said, before I even look at the questions, I like to count and then write how many we see for each of those services. Okay, now when we look at the questions, there we go. Number four, which service needs the most tax dollars? So looking back up here at our pictograph, 
which of those services, schools, roads, or parks, need the most tax dollars? Number five, which service needs the least tax dollars? So we're looking for the least. And finally, number six, name the government service that needs three tax dollars. So look up at the pictograph. Which service do you see three tax dollars? Keep up the good work. Take a picture and send it to me when you're finished.